Okay. We're live. Okay, let's uh, call the meeting to order. Uh, this is the uh, May 9th meeting of the Police Building Committee. Uh, we'll start with a roll call. We have a quorum here. We have Paul, Bill, Paul, Penny, uh, myself, and Tom. So that makes six, I think. So if, uh, with, yep. if I counted correctly. Uh, were there any public comments? Uh, no public comments. Okay. Uh, on the minutes, uh, uh, I was just talking to uh, Joe. We're going to uh, ask for approval of the March 28th minutes. We canceled April 11, and uh, uh, Joe does not have April 25th ready for approval today. So we'll have to get that at the next meeting. So, uh, moving. Motion. Motion to approve, Paul. Second. Second by Tom. The minutes are approved. Uh, Oh, please, uh, Jim, uh, before we uh, leave the uh, the roll call, we uh, uh, last on uh, Tuesday night at the Board of Finance meeting, uh, uh, Todd asked uh, to have another uh, new representative from the Board of Finance, and uh, the selectmen will be going through that process, but we want to welcome Nick Petrakis, uh, I don't know if I pronounced your name properly, Nick, uh, correct. Uh, to, uh, as a future member of the uh, of the building committee. Thank Nick, you. Good how are morning. you? Good to see you. Good. Good to see you, Jim. Okay. Uh, so we're into general updates. Uh, who wants to go first? Ty? Thank you. Okay. Um, so we have uh, your packets here. Um, and uh, I think um, I, won't, you know, I won't go through it in detail. I think the, the over all good news is what's low right in front. We're putting Turn your mic on, Ty. Light. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Forgot to push the button. Yeah. All right. Um, looking in the lower right hand corner. Oh, now we got an echo. Oh, that's you. Um, our work in place is a little ahead of schedule. So that's, that's good news. Um, when you see the yellow bar higher than the blue bar there, um, we, we've had a couple of uh, very productive months. And um, that, that sort of helps us overall. Right now, um, as stated last uh, meeting, we're, we're a little concerned about the the shoring of the building to to uh, lower some columns. Uh, we'll get into that in more detail, but uh, that's probably going to work against that that trend a little bit. Can um, you? Um, sorry. Can you? Uh, maybe Larry, can you share the share the report on the screen for our remote attendees? Yep. Yep. It's on the screen right now. Does anybody? We're we're not seeing it. Oh, okay. A lot. We're uh, let me uh, one more time. Hold on, we're trying one I more time. I forgot to click. Okay. Oh, click yes. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, uh, you want to start from the second one or so? Um, why don't we transition now to Scott's going to give us sort of a, a pictorial walkthrough of progress. Um, and then we'll go into the numbers after that. All right, great, great. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Welcome aboard, new, new team members. Um, so uh, normally what I'll do is I'll, I'll walk from the top down. Uh, we'll work on the upper level and work our way down. So we just took a few representative pictures here. Um, as you'll see here in this uh, first photo here, Larry, we're up. Uh, you'll just see windows are in. Uh, this is uh, the uh, upstairs upper level uh, conference room uh, training, uh, the video co uh, conference room on the upstairs. Uh, windows are in. Uh, we are uh, sheetrocking uh, throughout, uh, throughout the area. Um, we've got uh, paint. As you can see, some paint is going in. Um, so we're, we're in good shape upstairs. All the above, uh, above ceiling MEPs uh, are coming together. We uh, are getting prepared to receive the cassettes for the VR, VRF system um, and to start to install those. Uh, door frames are primed um, and we're, uh, we, we're and the system is tested. So right now uh, we're just running out the small little uh, tail ends of the uh, hydronic system uh, in preparation for the cassette receipt that's going to be installed above the ceiling. So uh, scrolling on down to the uh, <clears throat> The, to the this is the this is the EOC room on the main level. Uh, you see the spray foam uh, exterior spray foam insulation has been installed. 
uh, windows are installed on the front of the uh, the front of the building, uh, and we are uh, <clears throat> continuing with the sheetrock now, closing up uh, the walls uh, with the sheetrock. There are uh, this is a view of the um, of the main entrance, uh, the old dispatch area where the furniture has been removed. Uh, we're now uh, preparing to uh, <clears throat> start closing that wall up there. With uh, you can see on the bottom right, that's the bullet resistant uh, material that goes on that, uh, that elevation. And um, we're preparing to install that uh, downstairs as we continue with the sheetrock close up of the walls uh, post uh, spray foam insulation. Uh, the MEPs overhead are continuing uh, around, uh, around in a, a clockwise uh, manner. And we are uh, taping, putting on the joint compound and taping uh, our first and second coats of the areas that we are now uh, closing up. Um, scrolling on down to the lower level, this is a, a photo of the of the boiler room. So the boiler room has been uh, abated. That was the uh, uh, questionable oil area there. So we've abated uh, that area. Um, the last little bit of electrical uh, 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 switch gear is prepared to come out. We uh, Eversource was out here uh, two weeks ago and did a disconnect. So we can now take out the last remaining piece of switch gear in preparation for the underground uh, sanitary lines that have to go in there and uh, bringing in the, the water, the new water main and the, uh, and getting the new sanitary lines out of the building. This is a view down again on the lower level, looking down the corridor uh, with, the, with the new wall uh, to the fitness area. You can see the doors and the windows are there. Uh, the, window, the area is still shored as we uh, continue to prepare for the final grouting that has to happen on the top of that wall to make sure we're, we're all tied and secure. Um, and uh, we're working through a few uh, mechanical uh, coordination challenges of just getting from one side of that wall to the other side. Um, so we're, we're moving pretty well downstairs, uh, uh, going to the outside of the building here now. You can see the front of the building. Uh, as you can see in the, uh, on the right side here, we've got the windows are in. That's the EOC uh, on the right side there. Uh, the windows are in, chief's office. Uh, top right corner uh, where the dumpster chute is. We're almost ready to take that out as uh, the heavy work starts to get clean, cleaned up. You can see in the bottom right there, waterproofing is up to just underside that water table. Um, so we've got the waterproofing is uh, up and installed and uh, receiving the protective uh, uh, insulation board that goes on top of it. Uh, and then we've started some of the blocking at the front uh, upper fascia and soffit areas at the front portico. Uh, and preparing for the work up uh, up in there. Uh, scrolling around to the back of the building, we've got, uh, you'll see here that we've got the um, the windows in the back upper level have been installed to both the north side and south side. Uh, we're working in towards the middle uh, today, weather pending uh, challenges, hopefully by the end of this week, if not uh, Monday, have all the windows in. <clears throat> you can see on the main level, we've closed and blocked up where the old windows were preparing for the new pass-throughs, the, the new uh, uh, corridors that will enter the new building once done. So those are the areas you see without the brick in them uh, right there. Uh, rolling down to the lower level, again, we bricked up the old uh, men's locker room is uh, bricked up there. And uh, we're preparing for the shoring that's going to be going in in this area to support those new, the, the existing columns so we can uh, uh, drop the footings that are uh, impeding our uh, our construction on the inside of that area. You can see jail cell uh, is concrete is poured uh, and uh, we got all the uh, MEPs or the plumbing stub ups for all the drains and vents and washouts and all the stuff happens there. You see these center drains here are preparing uh, for the, uh, for the uh, Sally port. This is the Sally port area. So the floor drains are installed. We're actually grading that all now, getting ready to install the radiant heat panels that go underneath the uh, concrete. So uh, we've got some good work going on. Uh, the windows on both gable ends have been installed. We just need to uh, get out there and caulk them. We're waiting for some uh, good weather with a couple of days of dryness so our caulk can be uh, installed appropriately. <clears throat> um, I don't know if you can see the cupola there. We're going to start looking at uh, preparing for the cupola base uh, demo removal of the of the surface uh, the surface details dental molds etc uh, so that's going to be starting to happen in the next few weeks as well but uh, a lot of good things going on and we're in good shape outside the big uh, hiccup as we all know 
is uh, just getting through this challenge of the footing uh, uh, replacement and the dropping of that elevation. Any questions, Scott, before we yeah. get into the numbers? So where do we, where do we stand on the footing? Yes, um, yes, that we, we have approval. We've uh, awarded uh, the concrete work to uh, Villa and uh, Eastern Metal Works is providing the shoring, which is a fairly uh, elaborate system. And we uh, they have to get uh, some jacks to put pressure um, on the shoring system to, to uh, you know, put it on, to hold the building up. And then once we get the, the new footing in, then they slowly release the pressure after we get the, the grout installed. So, so Jack... J jacks are expected. They're coming from Texas. They're uh, they were uh, uh, they're, they're expected today. So we want to make sure we get the jacks from from Texas and uh, the iron workers out here right now as we speak, uh, just doing some field coordination and preparation for steel delivery on Monday. I think big picture, we're hoping to uh, have the the shoring system in installed by the end of next week and and. Uh, you know, take the load so we can start de demolishing the footings and then uh, putting in the new footings. So. Is this having the schedule effect? Yeah, it <clears> is. Uh, because we, we've had to push off the start of steel until this is done because we haven't, we haven't finished the footings in the middle because we have to get equipment in to, to access the existing footings. So there's some, some footings and a shear wall that we've got to build before we can do plank. But the shear wall and the, and the steel will go sort of hand in hand. So it's two to three weeks is what we're looking at right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> right. I know we're, we're, we're looking to expedite where we can, obviously, but uh, there are some just time cha time challenges, especially with uh, giving the, the concrete the opportunity to cure before we set those posts back down. And that's, uh, that's the driving uh, timer for, uh, for completion. Um, so... Um, now we can sort of dive into the numbers. I gave some uh, uh, eye-friendly uh, versions of the, of the report, so a little easier to follow along here, for myself included. Uh, again, we're going to highlight uh, the yellow items and um, going top to bottom. Uh, the first one is uh, on line 13, roof hatch size um, is part of our submittal. Uh, the, the engineer, it was just, uh, it was recommended to um, increase the size of the hatch to, to uh, facilitate a little easier access. It's usually not just a body, but it's a body and a tool bag and to, to, no, to the roof. Right. Mm -hmm. It's on the, the low roof of the addition. So it's, it's where, no, 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 no. It's on the, uh, it's to get to the, all the HVAC. So it's going to be to get to the, and that's going to be a flat roof. Yes. Okay. So that was a small increase. Uh, the next one coming down is line 16, um, louver coordination. Um, we just got a, um, uh, a, a change order to, uh, there was no- uh, It was added a new, uh, it was added a new louver on the, on, yep. on the low level area. Yep. And then um, structural revisions, um, this was uh, an ASI the, issued issued the, by. Uh, so let's add the post to. Um, I got, I got oh, Larry. Oh, okay. You got it. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. It's, it's just easier to hear from here, I think. Um, we have a, a column and a support beam to help with the MEP coordination. So um, we need a little more headroom in a particular area. So in order to thin up the beam, we had to add a column. So uh, that was just a coordination thing that we worked through with uh, the design team. Where was that in the building? Um, uh, it's it's oh. a west side addition. So transitioning from the addition to um, uh, to the existing building. So it's it's in the west side of the addition uh, transitioning. So okay. if you east have side of the, east side of the old building, west side of the west addition, side of the it's, it's, it's that transition building. going so, okay. across. Okay. Yeah, we needed more headroom. Yep. Okay. And uh, um, then the next one, uh, mis miscellaneous updates. 
Um, this again was an ASI. Uh, they added a, a roof ladder from uh, the low roof at the Sally Ports up to the higher roof, flat roof of the addition um, to facilitate access. Once you go out of the roof hatch, you can then go down a ladder instead of putting a ladder up against the side of the building and going that way. Um, and what else? What do they make those ladders out, out of? They're uh, steel. Steel, okay. Um, uh, and then we, uh, they added a refrigerator in the break room. And those are probably the, there were a couple of other small things, but those are probably the two biggest components of that, uh, th that ad. And that was originally 8,500 and uh, uh, we've, we've uh, upped it to just over uh, 10,000 based on some of the pricing we got. Is there um, the break room, was that the lunch? Or which, which room is that? Is that off the um, dispatch or is that the main? Uh, which break room is this, Larry? Uh, upstairs, um, upstairs, uh, 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 um, upper level. Upper level. Upper okay, room. is there an oven in there as well? No. Um, I, I don't think so. I, I, I think, I, I don't want, don't quote me on it. I have to check. That's the difference. The day room versus the break room. Yeah. Yeah. This is the third level? Yeah. yeah. This, is this is the third level. 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 Got it. Okay. No. Okay. So this was the the refrigerators on the third floor. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. That's that sort of in the center of the third floor, right? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. no windows. No. Yes. Yeah, it's off, off the corridor. I think it's yeah. off the yeah. corridor. Yeah. That's correct. There are no yeah. windows in that. I mean, no, no, no. I just, yeah. I'm just, I took a tour. I was just yeah, yeah, yeah. placing yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Between the hallway and the other. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The next one, uh, line 19, is the brick abatement. This is just the final cost. We had had a placeholder of 65. We got all the manifest back from the, the uh, disposal company. And uh, the final number that's um, in to be for signature is uh, the 55,774. So that's more of it, just an accounting update. Um, then um, coming down to line 32, um, this was an ASI um, issued by Brian. Um, we we uh, originally we'd we'd had uh, eight thousand for this. Uh, Larry tweaked it up a little bit. It's a it's adding a fume hood um, and uh, adding a, a, a roll up door, uh, not an overhead door, but just a, um, like a security door um, in the Sally Port. So the fume, what is the fume hood needed for? Um, I'd have to defer to the chief. Where that, was the, that was for the gun, um, gun cleaning. It was, there was a fume hood before, uh, but, uh, but it doesn't fit in uh, this, the, the, the size of the room. So, so this was just changing the spec to a ductless uh, fume hood in the gun cleaning uh, well, room. Chemical cleaning area. There's no windows or anything, even exhaust. Right there. For ventilation. Right, right. No, no, I just didn't know where it was. I mean, I'm not. Okay. So what were we, I'm sorry, were we going to use, have one before, or is that just one that we never spec in the original plans? That was a spec, but this is a change of the spec. It's just, uh, I guess, adjusting the spec from yeah. there's originally. They're adjusting the spec from one that was exhausted to the outside to one that's a scrubber so that the air can just circulate from within the inside of the room because of a, a coordination issue, correct, Larry? That's so correct, yeah. That was- so um, did, so We just changed the type of the fume hood. It's the exact same location. It's the exact same intent. It's just the, 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 had to the go specification from a, it, went from an exhaust to the outside to a scrub the air. To the okay, outside. and well, I'm sorry, why did that- Sounds like a fine change to me. I'm just wondering why we had to make that change. Because from of a coordination standpoint, of it, it didn't fit. Stealing to get everything. You couldn't get the you couldn't get the vent out. Correct. Okay. Okay. Then um, jumping down to line forty four. Um, so this has to do with the shoring up the two columns as i've said we've we've made those awards so we now know the pricing for that um at our last meeting we had a placeholder of 95 
Um, the actual number came in a little, little bit less than that at 93,236. And those, uh, those uh, change orders uh, will be issued shortly after you, you sign this. Um, actually, you've already approved this, the 95, but we just need the, the, the uh, our change order approved. And then we'll issue the changes to the subs. Yeah, so just a clarification. We've yeah. we, they, we've released Turner 100%. They've released their subcontractors and it'll stay in the pending column until it gets through all the, um, now they actually have hard numbers so it'll go back through the process between um, SLAM, uh, Humes, and then to the to the town for approvals. So no more further committee approval. Now it's just a matter of passing it around. Correct. It was approved as a 95 not to exceed. Now it's a, a solid number and it will be reviewed and we have full authorization and they're released. Uh, the next item coming down is uh, 48, um, and uh, this is, um, we, we had uh, 20,000 there previously. Um, we've reduced it because we can probably use some hold money to, uh, to, to uh, flush this out, but this is the blocking uh, at the exterior up at the eaves on the, uh, on the west side there. Um, there's, we're, as, as uh, Scott mentioned we're just getting into that now and uh, we have a better sense, but uh, uh, that's the placeholder for that. Uh, the three new items at the bottom, 49, uh, 51, 52. Um, let's see, uh, the first one, um, 7,500 is um, fitness room. This is uh, some flooring changes um, uh, where the material changed and uh, um, and then also some well, trim. Just, just what are we? What are we changing? Um, like, this is the floor material. Larry, you know, help me out on the the actual specs on the flooring in the fitness area. So, so the uh, the, the flooring was, um, I think, I believe it's carpet in the corridor, but uh, now it's changing to a LVT. And then also the fitness center. Uh, they, they, there's a um, change. There's some in the middle of the in the in the fitness center. There's a there's a strip of. Um, I think some kind of athletic uh, turf. Uh, a turf kind of uh, kind of material. So so um so those floorings um uh, you know uh, yeah those, those are the changes in the flooring. Um, Wait, I'm sorry, the, I, I'm sorry. The artificial turf. I mean, and was, where was the carpet? I just I'm sorry. The carpet was in the corridor. It. The carpet was in the corridor. The corridor outside. Outside. So now we're going to change that to LVT. To LVT plank. LV. Okay, so are we getting a design for that from our designer? Yes, yes. we, we, we got whole... a sketch in ASI, which gave us the, the information. We, right. we can share a ASI 23 with you. It gives the, the information. This was done with Brian's input. I think it's for for the intent of pushing sleds or something. For the turf in the gym. Correct. correct. The turf in the sled is for the intent of pushing a, a sled. Uh, so it'd be... It, run. What I'm pushing a sled like what what it's a, that's like, an exercise right. okay okay so it's like pushing like like the football players push something across the field it's it's similar to that so it this came out of the the process of designing the fitness room so this was something like okay let's change the fitness okay. room flooring to now that we're di diving a little deeper in well now that we're diving into the final design of the, the gym. The okay, gym so, all right. So I know when we got, when we looked at the interiors, we had Brian's, um, you know, design team come in and design the particular floor. And I know that I've, just through the schools there, you know, you just don't put down the, the vinyl tile. There's usually a pattern in the design that fits with everything else. So I just want to make sure that the designers got the same you know, match doing... the existing LVT that's already in the other part. Right, the but there's going to be a right. the, there'll have been a design in the other LVT. I just want to make sure that we've got the if we're changing this, I just want to make sure that we have the design so that well, the design it, is going to coordinate well. It came from Brian, so I, I assume right. that uh, I imagine it's, yeah. coming, it's coming from Brian. Brian. Yeah. I, right, right, right. I just want to make sure we go along with what we had, what we yeah. had planned. I just didn't want it to. 
The change was not designed by the construction team. The change was designed by Brian and passed to the construction team. Okay. I'll, I'll have when Brian gets back from vacation, I'll have him send out the, the finish, the, the actual okay, the just material. Be curious the ASI, I think it will be pretty self-explanatory when I share it with, with you, but I don't know if it goes to the level of here's a color board that goes along with it. So I'll, if, if you care about that, I will, I will get Brian to send a color board of it and patterns and stuff like that. I'd just be curious just to, nice. just to see it. And, and then, and then, and then, okay, to go back to the other room, like I, okay, I, you have the, the grass. Why do you need artificial turf in an exercise room? This is a sled that you push. It's an exercise movement that you do. It's a weighted sled and so it's, be, it's a new, there are new techniques now on active training versus just weightlifting. Weight yeah. used to be the old school. Now you actually, you actively train in the, in the methods that you're doing, or the, the, the movements that you would make. It's across all boards, across sports, all the rest of it. And it's on, it's on artificial turf. It's you not on some sort of rubber push mat. Push you wouldn't want to push the rubber mat. It doesn't slide. It doesn't slide. You would pull the, you would actually rip the rubber. So, yes. So you have Okay, so this, both changes are so you can get this piece of equipment into the gym. I'm not. Well, it's also down the center. Right. It's not. No, we're talking about two, the, the LVT is out in the hallway. Right, I got that. Okay. Okay. So the turf is just stripped. So there's the going to be center. Okay, that's yeah. common. All right, learn something. Right. Yeah, if you look on the screen, you, you look, see. Yeah, if you look at the screen, I just, I just put the um, the ASI changes that uh, um, that, that we talked about on the screen. So so the, the see this little strip in the middle, six foot uh, strip, that's the, it's a new architectural, uh, this turf material. I haven't seen it yet, but, you know, I'm I'm. I am waiting for the samples and submittal for this, but this is the new, new, um, you know, athletic turf that uh that we were talking about in the, and then, in the and gym, then the and then the this uh, the, all the hallway now with this new the pattern LVT and stuff carpet that was originals uh, before. So those are the okay. biggest changes. Okay, so then back to the artificial turf when, on the board of ed. Whenever we put in artificial turf, it has to meet certain standards. It's got to be the whatever this rubber. Doesn't rubber have, this doesn't have a fill in it. There's no fill in it. No. Now this this is specific turf for an interior application that that is specific to this EcoFit turf uh, product here. It's made specific for this activity. As in, in an indoor application. Okay. Kind of like a doormat. Yeah. Even this my low end gym in New Canaan has, uh, you know, has this kind of product so that the uh, uh, the uh, New Canaan moms and the uh, teenage uh, sports heroes in New Canaan can push the sled through uh, through the gym. It's I think uh, something that is just is done in new gyms nowadays. Okay. Uh, Can't wait to see it. Great. Hey Ty, is this does this run the whole trip? Does it go the whole room, the length of the whole room, or just part of the room? The whole room? Okay. Yeah, it just runs down the center of the room. So you have the equipment uh, n n east and west of the run, and then that 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 strip That's right down the middle, that six, six foot, foot strip down the middle is where the turf is going to be. It's basically like a carpet. It, okay. It's a it's a grass it's carpet. It's a grass carpet, exactly. Very well. It's exhibiting. On either okay, and then on either side, it's um like some sort of tile, vinyl tile, or what is Hard the rubber. flooring? Hard on? Rubber. It's, 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 rubber. it's a rubber. It's a rubber gym, gym, gym flooring. It's an appropriate rubber gym floor. Okay. Rubber gym Larry, right. was was the um the artificial turf extra, or was that already planned from the beginning? It's 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 That's new. A change. It's a change. Okay. Well, um. Dumb question, maybe. Why not get a sled with wheels, like at the Y? Why not? What? Why not uh, say that again. Why not get a weighted sled with wheels versus putting a turf in for non-wheeled sled? I think uh, we also want to use it for our fitness testing. Uh, we put cones down, and they run a serpentine test for speed and agility. So okay. it would uh, serve a dual purpose. Okay. Things. Yes, on the turf. Got it. Is it what? How what? It's six feet. You can yeah. do your agility. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Tight yeah. turns. I got one painted on my floor on my basement for my boys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, uh, line 51 is um, some additional blocking at the uh, where we installed all the new windows. Um, that's coming out of a hold that we had designated or something like that. So uh, no change to the GMP, but we still have to track it. And then the last one, um, some um, wall patching, got the stairwells. Um, again, um, we, we had some money in to, to address that. Um, this is, uh, we overran that a little bit. So we're gonna fund this out of our contingency. So it won't, won't impact the, the GMP. Which which hour? Turner's hour? Oh yes, 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 yes. Turner's coach. So that's uh, that's the overall summary. Then if you go to the follow up sheets, you'll see um, you know uh, the whole dollars um, highlighted in yellow where we've uh, expended a, some of that hold money, and uh, but we still have a. $291,000 left in the hold. You go to the second page and um, under the allowances, uh, uh, we've sent, spent some of the allowances uh, to help shore uh, for the, the pricing on the, the shoring for the columns. And, um, um, what else? Uh, and then the, uh, the blocking and the, uh, the PVC backing, the, the 10,000 for the second one. And, uh, um, and then patching some walls uh, as well. So, so what's the top what is, uh, so you add the two, we can add the allowances and the hold is what you basically still have in reserve. Yes, exactly. Right. So we have 38,000 in uh, allowances left. And 291 um, in, right. in uh, Oh. And then the big one, the last page, we have uh, we're still 656 left in the So by the million total. Yes. So I had two questions. One on the front of the building, like at the top, what was wrong with the, uh, maybe go back to the picture that we had up earlier. What was wrong with the brick and everything at the top that we had to take it all out and redo it well the the drawings asked for us to replace all the trim on the building it okay. was it was wooden uh trim that i guess had to be painted every year and some of its rots so the concept was to replace that with all synthetic material now so okay. it's all going to be a, a plastic that you really you don't have to paint um and or azec but it's basically a oh, it's gonna be azec yeah okay. it's a pvc material okay um so but the blocking that's there now, some of it's rotted, some of it's- uh, um, The blocking is the vertical? Yes. The, the vertical pieces? It is, uh, uh, dimensionally, it's a little different because the AZEC profile is thinner than the, it was uh, you know, solid wood. So um, we've got to build it out a little bit. Uh, okay. And some of those details weren't, weren't understood from the drawing, so. Okay, just okay. Have, we have to do a little bit more work up there than uh, than was represented in the documents, but we we're going to deal with that with uh, some of it with hold money and some of it with the, the, with the change we're tracking here. And then the, uh, my other question is, I don't know if you were getting into it, but where are we on the windows? Yeah, no, that's next, that next, next on okay. the agenda. Okay. No, okay. no elevators, no elevators. So um, we, we, we don't have a placeholder in here yet because yeah. frankly, the, the, we just got information yesterday afternoon. Okay. That. But um, uh, been a, a little bit difficult with uh, Brian. Not let me stop you a second. Do we want to go into executive session to discuss the window problem? We can amend the agenda. It's a regular meeting. Mm -hmm. You can always go on. So, so um, my my suggestion would would be that if um, we start to talk about locations of the security <laughs> windows or details of it, we would. We can, I think we could talk about from a big picture okay. standpoint, just, just everyone keep in mind that it's a public meeting. And if we're going to talk about anything that's uh, like, you know, it's all basically the barrier of the police station, we should go into executive session. It's being recorded. So. Oh. Well, okay, well, I'll start. Go What's the executive opinion session? of the group? Okay. I think this part of the discussion, I, as I understand it, is just general discussion on the windows. Okay. 
Well, some of it does have to deal with. You can't get, you can't get into it okay, without talking about. Okay. It does. So, all right. So I would make a motion to amend the agenda to go into executive session to discuss things that ha could have a relationship security. to security. All set. Okay. All in all favor. favor? Uh, okay. All right. We're now going to executive session. Uh, uh, just give me, give, us, give me one second um, to stop the recordings. Sorry. So for those Thank people you. on the TV, we'll probably be okay. gone for about um, 10 minutes. So um, we have to invite anyone in, everyone in this room is invited into the guest sessions. And Bill. And and then and who's, online? Online. who's online? Is there who's our, so Nick, Bill, and Nick. Joe Brenda. So I have um, so Bill and Joe. We have Scott, Bill, Gene, Larry, okay. Nick, uh, uh, Jim from SLAM. There's there's no one there's no one from the no it's no one from the public. So, 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 so you just stop them. So you just stop them. And then you have to let them in, right? Well, if we just no, stop no, the recording. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. But I mean, for if somebody else wanted to join the Zoom, you'd have to let them in. That's correct. Okay. There's no one. There's no. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Good. Well, going into executive session. We're not in executive session, so go ahead. Okay. Uh, Forty eight. Eight. Uh, we're now leaving executive session back to regular session. Do you need to recording? Okay. Is recording back on? Yeah. I'd make okay. a motion to uh, to approve a change order to replace the window sashes uh, in accordance with uh, specifications, not to exceed one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Second. Second by Tom. All in favor? Aye. See you, Thank you, team. Okay, uh, moving on. Now, are you finished, Tom? Uh, Gene, you want to give us your report? You're muted, Gene. Gene, you're muted. Yes, let me just pull it up here. What are you guys seeing? No. Nope. Yeah, That's we got it. Thing. Oh, now we don't. It just went away. <clears throat> we have a copy of this. No. Are you seeing anything? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Hmm. Oh, we had it, Gene. You had it. Okay, hang on a minute. No, we don't. You gotta read fast. <laughs> <laughs> You've got it. Literally. I'm laser focused on the owner's contingency. Are you seeing the the colored? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Not okay. All right. So, um, so right now, um, to focus on the on the owner's contingency, we're about a one. You see this number here: one million two hundred four. Yes. Yes. Yes, we can see it, Gene. Okay. The, so the soft costs on the owner side, uh, we have about one point two million dollars in on owner soft cost. Um, the the GMP uh, con contingency for Turner is about is still managing around six hundred sixty six thousand um, dollars, less the 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 two PCOs that he is planning on pulling a little bit of the money out of that contingency. So overall. And this $1.2 million includes uh, the anticipated, I had anticipated about $130,000 in um, the window replacement. Um, so, you know, that will build back the contingency a little bit by, you know, $15,000 or so. Um, this number also includes, and I'll share this um, in another screen here, the, um, the $93,000 for the uh, column um, uh, footing issue. So overall, we're still, you know, we're man managing the, the $29 million. Um, we still have uh, a comfortable contingency. Um, and between the, the, the two of them, we're, you know, we're hovering about $1.8, $1.9 million, um, which is good. Um, uh, one of the things to note that Ty mentioned, you know, their, their plan start for the structural steel and precast was starting, was intended to start 
uh, this week. Um, so as he mentioned, this will be a, a bit of a delay by about three or four weeks to kind of solve that problem. Um, and then just focusing on you know the window upgrade, we just talked about that. Um, and then also the column flooding. So those are the two big issues today, one financial, one schedule wise, but overall the impact is is not um, uh, that great to 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 cause any concern over the uh, total duration that we planned on a fall 2025 completion. To get a little bit more granular, um, the uh, this is the tracking cost that was in the report. You can see, um, in this column right here is where we're tracking all of the negative variances against the contingency and and the contingency is is what's what's basically funding everything in in that um, uh, section eight column uh, under section eight a contingency. So um, this this number will trend down a little bit as we as we just agreed to. Um, and that's how we come up with the $29 million. And then just the last piece, which is on Turner's report, um, they're, um, the overall trending, um, Turner's doing a great job on their forecasting. Um, so right now we're at about 27, 28% complete with their, with their April billing. Um, and they projected, you know, somewhere around there. So I think this is looking really good. Actually, we, we want to see this number go higher because it just means they're spending more and getting more done. So it's, it's all heading in the right direction in spite of some of the challenges that they've faced so far. Hey, Gene, 27.5% mm -hmm. complete of what? 1.9 million? Of the 20 million, the, uh, it's of their GMP number. The construction cost alone? Just the construction cost, yes. So 1.9, what was the number, 48? Um, the 1.9 is uh, the current billing for April. Okay. You have to add the total billings to date. Against would, it be, the... would it be possible to have a inception to date number versus current because it's an incomplete picture. If you get a full picture to say we have spent X, which Total. is this, yes, this percent mm -hmm. off the, that would be helpful. Mm -hmm. And also, do you guys prepare an earned value analysis at all? Cost we schedule? do not, no. You do not? Um, for any project for us and company I work at, anything over 5 million, we do that to see cost performance. And for those in the room who don't know, on these large projects, you want to see whether a dollar spent resulted in a dollar progress in the schedule. This earned value analysis tells you that because it translates money spent into schedule progress. And it's two curves in the end, the schedule performance index and the cost performance index. And if one starts overlapping the other, you see there is a problem. And um, do we have transparency here? I see that, which is great, but it's still good from a big picture perspective. Um, taking a snapshot and seeing that we are here cost-wise on spent and schedule we're here. Are we in line or are we trending in the wrong direction? That would be helpful um, if if you could do that because um, we have, what, a year plus to go? No. No. Um, no, we're, the completion date is is uh, intended to be at you know end of February now, I believe we're at roughly. Go back to this. Um, Okay, because I saw somewhere fall twenty five plus the completion there. That that's yeah, that's um, that's the original intended completion date for the entire project. So once the construction is done, there's a commissioning FF and E kind of onboarding phase. Um, we're hoping that this comes in sooner, but right now this is we don't want to give any false hope until we get further down the road. Okay, well you know cost may inc be incurred post construction as well, but. Anyway, for the sure. construction piece, that would be helpful. Uh, but at least on the inception to date, uh, percent complete gene, that would be great. Okay, Thank so you're, it's it's a you're looking to really compare the the expenses to date against the cost to trend to make sure that they're not um, one's not 
Yes, yes. Yes. I, I, Let... We always look at that. We say how much of the budget has been spent. Um, and is that in line with what was finished, completed? You know, did we overspend in some areas and we spent the money, but we didn't get the progress we intended? Mm -hmm. Yes. Last night, the board, or Tuesday night, the Board of Finance was very specific about uh, the the kind of uh, updated report that they uh, that they want to see, which is what Nick is describing here. And uh, I think, you know, uh, after this meeting, uh, Gene, Nick uh, can uh, can get together and uh, create that, uh, and, and Joe, I would think, uh, to create the report that the board, that would satisfy the Board of Finance and keep that going, because that's that's the way they prefer to uh, track progress of the uh, contingencies and things like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hey, yeah. hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. This is Joe. Um, it, would it be possible for you to send us over an example of how you'd like the data, or even like a live version of one, so that mm -hmm. we could do it? I'm not. I'm not uh, familiar with this particular technique because I'm not on the finance side. I'm on the construction side. So it would okay. be very helpful if you had something. That way, we're not going back and forth, and we'll give you exactly what you'd like. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna yeah. make it complicated because it takes it takes. Um, a person that I'm sure Turner would have internally for their own purposes, who understands finance, who understands construction, um, to translate dollar spend into progress. Uh, but I'm not gonna make no, it I, complicated. I'll, I'll, I'll email you with um, what we'd like. Just to a, just a sample of what you, how you where you want us to get to, and then we'll we'll figure out how to get there. That would be perfect. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. I don't know, Ty. Did you have anything? Any of your finance guys have done something like this before? It's not ringing a bell, but I think what we're doing is, I guess, comparing schedule progress to dollar progress. Correct. So if we're, you know, and that's kind of a cash flow. Uh, comparing yeah. percent yeah. time to percent dollars, I think is what. I, I, it's I, it's I very I common. I think I understand it. Yes. We would like to see how they want it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can do it once. Yeah. yeah. It's very common in the. Um, yeah, I just. Wouldn't say, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even say construction. It's in the project management industry. Um, okay. There's always financial challenges when you look at dollars versus percent complete because at the end of the job, when your mechanical equipment comes in, your bill will increase, but sure. your work, you know, so there's a there's a, a, a challenge correlation between the two, but certainly, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, there's something we could do. Um, so if you, you were talking about the fact that this column issue is going to back things up two to three weeks and the completion is 124.25. Have we moved that or is that- are we, no, just we, gonna, we, we have, haven't adjusted it. We really want to get, see how long it actually takes right. and then just do- So that 124 actually. is contingent on how fast and whether you can catch up on any of this stuff after you put those in maybe. Correct. And, yeah. Well, okay. 124 is way ahead of the plan. So right. there's room right. for some adjustment there. Yeah. Yeah, Turner um, hasn't updated their construction schedule and, and rightly so I think until this kind of gets settled a little bit it's a moving target so you know within the next couple of weeks here I'm, I'm sure this will be reflective in their um their CPM schedule and, uh, and I'd like to say and I'd like to say I just um we, we would always push the town would always push you know Turner and in the their their team specifically Scott uh to stack to stack items to um to stack the schedule to be able to uh, hit the critical path hard and hopefully minimize the delay. Um, and I think they're incentivized to do that as well. The longer they stay on the job, the less, the less you know, fee they make per percentage of man hour. So we're all, our interests are all aligned. Um, so, um, so I just didn't wanna, I don't wanna start pushing out a schedule. Right. There's no reason to push it out until we know it's out and we're, when I say when you say push out, it's push out the the date that is much improved from when we started. Right. I don't think it read as a delay. It's like, oh, we we said we were going to finish six months early. We're only going to finish five months early. Yeah. So I just want to keep saying that. I know I've said it a few times. I just don't want the headline to be um, that that the project is delayed when we're when we're five months ahead of schedule. Right, and that, I think that's why we included project completion fall 2025. That was our original. So. We're not changing um, that until we get a better handle on construction completion. Because so, all the fit-outs to do after that. Right, so um, the, the uh, 20 million 
992,000 includes your general conditions basically through January of 2025. Yep. Right. Yep. And where are we on the FFNE? Uh, the FFNE is is in the design process now, the selection process and programming with uh, the police department. We met with CAMA. CAMA is putting together a bid package, and we expect to have something um, in September for the committee to vo to vote on. As far as here, we're you know we're out to bid, and we we think it will be this this is how what the packages came in at, and we're making a recommendation. Is that based on the projected conclusions in January, February, March time frame? Correct. Okay. So is that is the gym equipment part of the FF and me? It is not. That's part of the that's a separate that's a separate work effort effort that's being done more or less directly by the PD. Right. So okay, so where in our budget is the gym equipment It's not in our budget. No. Oh it's not in the twenty nine million? Correct. Well, it's going to. Well, All right. Yeah, right. Does that mean it's coming? Who's yeah? Who's going to? Who's who's going to? Who's paying for the gym? So so. What's, there was a, there was a this we we went through this and uh, where it landed was there was a possible lease option there was possible use of contingency there was possible things so there's still there's still items, um there. It's, it still hasn't been vetted out by the by the committee. Um, I, I, so if it's so, a lease, it goes into the police uh, operating budget, and if it's a purchase capital, it comes into our budget. Yes, or, or, or whatever you guys whatever you guys vote on. I some other fund. fund. There's another fund. Who, who figures that out? There's a committee. We John was setting up a group. Which is not we agreed a couple months meetings ago that you assemble a group to decide what we needed for the fitness and how it might matter. We've already submitted what we need, and I always assumed it was going to come out of this budget. Who's got the boss? I had always assumed it was going to come out. So according according to according to providing a complete police station, but. Agreed. And you can't reuse the old equipment. No. So. I don't think we're going to lease it. I don't think so either. Um, do we have a top line number yet? I don't know. Yeah. So maybe we get need to get. The, the original plan was it was in the area of one hundred and twenty to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, depending on what equipment we chose. Uh, however. Uh, Paul got me in touch with uh, a gym designer. I'm still waiting to have a meeting with him. Hopefully that'll be on the sooner side and we'll meet with him with our internal gym committee, our fitness instructors, and uh, see if we can come up with uh, a, a design for you guys to look at. So why don't we make, put that on the agenda for the next meeting for report on gym equipment. Right. Okay. I so, so, okay. so uh, I, one more, sorry, I'm like full of questions today. <laughs> At what point would you think that you would be, uh, if we need it, which hopefully we won't need it, um, able to release part of the uh, contingency, the CM contingency? I'd want the, uh, I'd want to be sort of getting into that the addition has been enclosed. Okay. Which yeah, so where so that's in the project that's like in that's September. probably um it's probably yeah the end of the summer okay yeah. just you know, yeah. at some point we might prep yeah. for you okay uh and any other uh, uh, next steps or new business uh, hearing none uh ready for a motion to adjourn all all favor Meetings adjourned. Thank you.